it's me, Mario. Hey, hello everybody, it is me, Austin16, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are all having a great day, and if not, I'm always praying for you. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's uh, go into the castle. Here we are, we are in the castle now, and we are heading to, uh, as we're going to head to a slide, I was going to say Womp's Fortress, but we should go ahead and do the slide, get two free stars right off the bat here on this episode. Uh, let's go into the painting. Oh, that was a failure. That was a failure number two, and we got it on number three. Here we go. Let's go and slide down here. Now, if we get uh, if we get below 21 seconds, we can get two stars. And here's a little shortcut that I can do. I can jump off with some speed coming from the wall. Uh, here we go. Hopefully, we can get in time still. And 19 seconds. So there we go. We have two stars right off the bat, right here on this episode. Only a minute into the episode, and we already got two stars right off the bat. Looking good. And whooping. There is number two. And that is done. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going into Womp's Fortress. The second level, the second painting in this entire game of, you know, Course 2. Womp's Fortress. Hello, the Lakitu Bros, cutting in with a live update and on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique of sneaking up to enemies. The trick is this. He has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping around filming techniques reported on earlier. You can press the C buttons to, you know, go into distance and other stuff like that. Like it, like it, two brothers signing off. Alrighty then. Now we are in the Womp's Fortress. This is probably my favorite course of the game. I am sleeping because I am sleepy. I don't like to be disturbed. Please be quiet. I'll be very quiet. And then punch you in the face. Now you are internal sleeping. Got a blue coin out of it. The shadow star in front of you is a star marker. When you collect eight red coins, the star will appeal here. Thank you for telling me that. I had no idea. Wubbing! Throw a box and get coins. Get all these coins, but yes, I feel like this is probably my, my favorite level in the game, or favorite course. It's just so fun and uh, <clears throat> so, like, it's so fun to traverse around. And, like, it's so easy for me to, you know, go into places. Let's go through this way. And also made it a, re a return in uh, Super Mario Galaxy. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step on switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. All right, right here we got the green one, which is a metal cap. It can turn into metal Mario. Those who do not know, he is a. Uh, come on, go to sleep again. The pathway is narrow here. Easy does it. No one is allowed on top of the mountain. And if you know what's good for you, you won't make anyone who's sleeping move slowly and lightly. Okay, then we'll move very slowly. We are all uh, bang! All right, we got the blue coin. Um, uh, I was thinking in the last episode, but I forgot to mention it. Caution, narrow bridge, cross slowly. You can jump to the edge of the cliff and hang on, and you can climb off the edge if you move slowly. Yeah, I was thinking about it last episode. I forgot to mention uh, when you when you want to let go, press either Z or press the control stick in the direction of Mario's back. Okay then. To climb up, press up on the control stick. Just I oh yeah. 
I already know about that. You can do a little bit of this and press up. And you get back up. Alright. Like I was saying, in the last episode I forgot to mention that uh, I'll be saving... Excuse me. I'll be saving the 100 coins. I'll be saving the 100 coins for an episode of its own. Or maybe even the final episode of the game. You no, know, uh, I'm not really rushing through this game all too much like I normally do. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, we build your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try and pound me, you wimp. Ha! Okay, whoop! Well, it looks like I'm pounding on you. Come on, bring it. Mr. Womp King. Whoop! Boom! Another ground pound to you. And one more time with a side flip and a ground pound. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't grovel. I mean, er, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Thank you, kind Womp King, for this lovely star that will help me on my journey. We are going to go out of the level once again. Usually the first star is uh, one thing and then we can get the rest of the stars in the next one. So we can stay in the level. There we go. We're gonna go climb on top of the mountain once again. Go. We can side flip up there. We can do a little Odyssey dive again. Oh, <laughs> there goes the bullet bill. Right here, if you didn't know, you can punch this wall and you can get a one up. I learned that from the uh, Mario 64 guy that came with the game. And usually, how we find most of this stuff is from. The guys that came in early when the game first released. Here we go. We got our second star of Womp's Fortress. Now we can stay into the stage. Let's try and do this little trick. See if I can get into this cage. Ooh, from the long jump. Ah, oh, so close. So close. We almost had it. Alright, we are going to go get the blast the wall away. I know. Uh, I think look to the sky. Um, talk to this guy. Get the cannon ready. Thank you, bomb or buddy, bomb bomb, bomb bomb buddies. But we don't have to use it for this star, as this star is actually easier to get by doing a wall jump off. I try, I tried it, but uh, we can do a wall jump off of this, and we can get our star. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And now, we can get this blue coin thing. Uh, break open the blue coin block by pounding with the ground with the Z button. One blue coin is worth five yellow coins. That's awesome. But you will have to hurry. The coins will disappear if you're not quick. All right. Get these coins, these blue coins. I just, uh, I can't, I can't avoid the blocks when I see them. Alright, next is the red coins. The red coins on the fortress. We got a red coin over this way. But yeah, like I said, uh, before I went on, or into the game, but I'm trying to take my time with this game. Uh, this go around as much as I can. Um, I played this game for a little while, for like most of my life, probably since I was like five years old. I played this game, so it comes pretty easily or easy for me. Uh, 
but this time I don't want to really try to speed run as much as I normally do by myself on video. I just want to take my time with it, you know, enjoy the moment. Don't try to rush these uh, these uh, moments, especially on YouTube. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, stop and smell the roses of this game in this moment and take everything that I can, you know, by reading the signs, uh, getting some cool camera angles for, like, the levels and its entirety, uh, get the stars in order of, or well, try my best to get the stars in order of which the game designed it for. You know, all, all the worlds, uh, you can go at your own pace, you can go wherever you like wherever you want to and there we go we have our fourth star of Womp's Fortress we got, I think we got one more that we can get here no we got two more actually I think we can get all of these in this uh, time but yeah you know I'm just trying to go through the stages as uh, much as I can let's try to do this little glitch right here and haha <laughs> I wouldn't have got it if not for the Odyssey Ground Pound. Here we go. We have one more star left. And let's blast away the wall with the cannon. Oh no! Yep. We can just dive into this cannon and blow away this wall. It took me a long time to really understand what this star meant as a kid. I had no idea what it meant by Blast Away the Wall. But you know, I guess it makes sense now. There is a little glitch they can do with like, you have to have precise timing where you can get the star through the wall. But here we are, we have finished Womp's Fortress. We'll be back once again when we have uh, 100 coins. An episode just desired to 100 coins. Yep, save and continue. Oh, let's talk to Toad real quick. It was Bowser who stole all the stars, Mario. I gave him one of my own eyes. His hidden six stars in each course, but won't find all of them. In some courses, you under till you get the cap switches. Okie dokie then. The stars you found will show up on each course on the starting screen. Yep, I figured that out, Toad. If you might, if you want to see some of the enemies you already defeated, go back to the stars. All right, I already knew that. Of course, I knew I already knew all these things. Sometimes you'll bump into invisible walls at the edge of the paintings of the world. If you hit a wall flying back, you'll bounce back. I'm not really sure what that means. And here we go. We're going into our third course of the game. I will be going in order of, you know, what the game intended. I guess the game really didn't intend it. You know, the game intended you to have freedom and to go wherever you like. But, you know, the courses are, you know, they're numbered as, you know, one, two, three. Here we go. We're going in this, in this little secret course. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if this course was easy to find for people. You know, that first started playing the game, I guess they're probably curious. Oh, there's a black, there's like a black uh, vent looking thing. Uh, I wonder if I just jump up there if anything will happen. That's all I can really picture in my head. I can't remember how exactly I found it. It's probably that exact same reason. Well, it's just a red coin mission. Swimming and red or looking for red coins, and we get a star. But yep, there we go. We got the secret aquarium star. One of the castle's secret stars. All right, now it's time to jump into Jolly Roger Bay. Plunder into the sunken ship. 
All right, here we are. Jolly Roger Bay. Man, that music is so iconic. Attention! Read before diving in. If you stay under the water for too long, you will run out of oxygen. Return to the surface air or find air bubbles or coins to breathe while underwater. Press A to swim, hold to swim slowly and steady, and tap A with a smooth timing to gain speed. Press up on the stick. All right. Hold down. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Now let's take a good look at this place. Jolly Roger Bay with that iconic music in the background, if you can hear it. Uh, if YouTube doesn't cut it off, but uh, look at this place. It's just so peaceful and the music always gives me chills whenever I hear it. Part of the, probably uh, my favorite water stage in any game. There's not many water stages that I like in video games, but this one, you know, it's an exception. I like this one much better than Dire Dire Docks, which we'll see later in the game. Alright, that sign was just telling me how to climb again. There's been three there's been three signs that have told me how to climb so far. Alright, let's do the dive in! Wahoo! A perfect 10! Mario came up for a second there. Alright, we gotta swim down here and we gotta face this scary looking eel. And we gotta go by it, tease it a little bit, and then swim up to the surface. And get some air, and then drop back down. And the eel, the scary eel, should be gone from the hole inside the ship. There we go. Now we can just go inside here, and we will go inside the ship. And now we have these kind of like uh, treasure chests that we have, excuse me, that we have to open in a certain order. I am pretty familiar with the order. Sometimes I get this one and the uh, other one confused. Sometimes I'll press this one first and go back, but here we go. We got it first try. And we can come up to this box and get our star. Sweet! Here we, go. we can head out of here because if not, we'll be stuck in this ship forever. Let's go back in and get all the rest of the stars. Can the eel come out to play? We gotta play with the eel once again. Right here. Wee! Let's talk to this bomb bomb so we can get the uh, cannon for this level opened. Thank you. Once again. I think it was like. I think there's like five cannons in each of the stages, I think. Let's go ahead and dive right down again into the deep of the ocean. Alright, this one's a little tricky sometimes. Uh, we gotta like sit here and wait for the eel to come out. Uh, sometimes it can be a little tricky, sometimes you can hit the tail a little early and or hit it a little late and have a little trouble. But if you hit the, you can actually hit the eel and it'll do damage to you. And it's a pretty easy way to die, considering you know you have oxygen to worry about as well. But here we go. That's a little swimming, and we got the star off of his tail. Now we can go and get it. Uh, let's go get some coins before we drown. Oh, never mind. I guess I probably go get the star and it'll heal me. There we go. We have got the star from the eel. Now we can stay in the stage and uh, 
There we go. We're right next to the next one. The treasures under the ocean. We can go over here and we can have this little area. It's out of the water. Keep out! This means you, Arg. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain dis disaster. I don't believe you. Oh, no! I believe you now. And we got another blue coin block. And we got all of these over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Oh, let's dodge these. Got some Indiana Jones type of uh, level of design here. Here we go. Here are the treasures. The treasure chests. Arg, hoy matey. I have sucking treasure. Here I do. But the pluck, the plunder, you must open the treasure chest right over in order. What order is that, you say? I'll never tell you, the caps. Well, good thing I already know the order of these treasure chests because I play this game a lot. You know, eventually after a couple of times, you know the order. And there we go. We have gotten our third star of this level, of this course. Ah, uh, watch out. Ow. He got me. Get rid of these Goombas. No more Goombas in this place. Now, what is next? I think it's the red coins that is next. Uh, uh, yep, red coins afloat. You know, unless you're gonna get this star right here. If you press if you press it at the right speed, you can actually get that star. Um, I've, I've never got it before. You have to do it like really fast. You like tap it really fast. And also, you know, stay down lower, but and it's meant for the uh, it's meant for the metal Mario, but Sometimes you can get you can get it without the Metal Mario. We have a sh green shell right here. If I can get it, nope. The clam shut before I could grab it, and now it's gone forever. Darn it! I wanted to show that off. I didn't even know you could use it for a long time while in this game. I knew that you can you know mess with. Uh, shells underwater and galaxy in Mario Galaxy but uh, I didn't know that this game originated it yep it's gone forever oh well here we go we can get this uh, third red coin we got some more up here on the ship uh, we got one right there Let's go get it. Whooping. Do a little handstand on the sharp. And go over here to the ship and get our red coins. Oh no! I failed. I dropped through. Oh, we can go back up. Wait for this to end and go back. A little triple jump and there we go we got number five six and seven I have no idea what this block is here for <laughs> I thought for sure you could break it open a long time ago but I guess it's just there for design let's try to do a little triple jump right here sometimes you can actually go over here if you time it right and not this time <laughs> I think the last red coin is down right here in the clam. Yep, there it is. And now we gotta go back up to the ship. You now while I'm down here, I might as well try and get this star once again. Come on, come on, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Go under, go under and tap it. Oh, oh, I got it! Yay! That's my first time ever getting that. That's awesome. Now we don't have to come back and use the metal cap. 
We still have to come back for one of the coins, though. But that's good. All right, we can go up here and get another star. It's always cool when you get a star before you know it's available for you in the like the way it's intended to get. There we go. We have one more star left, and it is has has to do with some cannon. Let's see if I can try to get it over here again. One, two, three. Ah, no, sir, no, sir. Okay, then. Now we have to use this can to get on top of those beams so we can climb up them. It's very easy to miss. But, whoop, boom. Hey, I got a first try. Awesome. Oh, that. That would have been sad. There we go. We have all the stars for Jolly Roger Bay. We have now completed Womp's Fortress and Jolly Roger Bay. I think that will be it for the video. You know, we completed two courses in one video. Let's go out to the hallway. Oh, let's talk to Toad real quick again. The names of the stars are also hidden for the finding them. They will are displayed at the beginning of each course. Yes, Toad, I know this. Thank you for telling me again. All right. Now you can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or uh, items unless you select a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Yes, sir, Toad. Let's see what this sign is all about. Are you using the cat blocks? You really should. Well, uh, I don't have any of them unlocked yet. Uh, you can use the cap switches, the castles, hidden courses. You'll find the hidden courses only after regaining some of the power stars. The cat blocks are a big help. Red is for the wing cap, green is for the metal cap, and blue is for the vanish cap. That's cap. No, but uh, that has some good information. First time I've ever seen, you know, the caps being mentioned of which one does what. And in the next episode, we will get the wing cap by going through this light. So thank you all so much for watching. This is Austin 16. God bless. Peace out. I'll see you next time.